All right, so this is Tainted Mammon, and he is a pig. Tainted Mammon has a unique mechanic where he kills enemies, and uh, the enemies have a chance to spawn trinkets that actually harm you, apparently. There you go, there's one of them. Fossilized Coal spawns an active fire place one tile away from the door on room entry. Interesting. So I gotta be careful whenever I enter a door. Now why would you ever in your life pick up these? Also, there's nothing in the treasure room, just these bad trinkets. Uh, the, the, they do not look lame. Those are called lame sunglasses? I don't think so. They look sick. When entering a new room, lose up to three coins. For each coin lost, a cursed spinning penny is spawned in a random position. I don't know what this means, but let's try it. So the reason that you would ever pick up any of these is because, oh, I guess I'm supposed to take these, that you can actually sell them in the shop and get money. And that's kind of how you actually get items. It's almost similar to Tainted Keeper. The only way you can really lock in items is by getting, uh, by buying them from the shop. So this is a value of seven coins. It's just a hat. <laughs> Tears down. I'll take it. It's okay. It's just the basement. So that was worth seven. So when I get to the shop, there's going to be a dude as far as I know that you can go ahead and just be like, hey, take all of my trinkets. I don't want them anymore. Yikes, God damn it. Uh, and he'll take it and give us money. This, sh there you go, there's the dude. These items aren't actually bad. I have a, a deep pockets, which could be sick for us. And there's this guy. I don't know what this guy does, but oh well. So if we give this guy our trinkets, he's like, nice dude, thanks. And he gives us the money back, perfect. And then from that, uh, we can get deep pockets. What do you do? Sword capsule, 0 0.5 damage. I'm assuming this only works for one room. I'll use it on the boss. Oh, hey, gurglings fight is gonna be kinda annoying. Boom, nice, a little bit of a damage up for us. But we should be okay. I mean, I basically have an incubus right now. Found souls a little nuts though. Oh, nice. Ow. Okay, laments. And we protect those are faster. Okay, I'll take it. I did not know that boss rooms are like Tainted Keeper and you can't actually just take them. Okay, well, now we know that I need as much money as possible. So another thing uh, to say, uh, I'm not gonna pick that up because that one seems kind of hard to deal with, is that if you leave the room uh, for the trinket, holy moly, lament is crazy. If you leave the room that has a trinket, you can't come back and take it. You have to take it in the room or you never take it at all. That's insane. What are those tears? That's a lot of trinkets as well. Damage down by a lot. That's all right. Tears fire at slightly wonky and that sounds bad. That sounds terrible. And grants crystal loss, which doesn't sound bad at all. Uh, I, I'll take both. This one seems the worst. Wonky, like how wonky is it? It's it's actually not that bad, never mind. We do have a ton of trinkets, so when we are ready to uh, give away our money, our trinkets, sorry, we'll get a ton of money. What trinket is in here? We get forces you to fire every coin you owe. What? In random directions. I guess you take that if you're next to the shop, which I, I can of am. I thought it was forcing you to shoot out coins that you own whenever I shoot, not just like whatever, but that's fine. Do this, take everything from me, please. I don't want any of those. Wow, I'm rich. Epic. What is this? On use explodes any enemies within less than a third of their max health. Is this a, it's an active item. 12 second recharge. Seems kind of cool. I mean, I don't really have anything else to buy. Pay to play is cool. I'll take this just because it's basically 10 cents. This I think gives you uh, trinkets, but I don't really need that because I have a good trinket. You know what? This is new. And because it's new, let's just work with it. Let's see. Apparently they fade a little red if they're able to be detonated. So we keep an eye out for that. Hearts can no longer be picked up. That's fine. I don't really care. I have soul hearts. Damage down and tear effects are removed. So these I can't get rid of at all. Oh, hello ghost. Purely because that dude is gone. I have to wait for the next shop before I can do anything. 25% chance to not fire a tear. That's awful. And even then I'm taking it. Never mind. I forgot the mechanic where you can't leave and come back. What is that? I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? You guys see that as well? Can I detonate this, this mini boss? I know it said you can't detonate bosses. I don't know about mini bosses though, probably not. No, you cannot, you definitely cannot. I mean, I'm assuming it's something decent. It, oh, oh, what, 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 what is going on? Am I gaining money? Am I losing money? I just grabbed that by complete accident. Oh, okay, I get it. It's like a uh, bonus. We're doing bonus right now. That was, I get it, it was bonus. The spinning ones explode, and the normal ones are just for me to take. I unironically think Mr. Boom is a better item. So we're taking this. This character is fleshed out, I love it. 
Also, I spawned two Mr. Booms as a synergy, so it's worth it. Spawns an active fire. Oh, this is the one we had earlier. Sure. Delay? This is a uh, tears up. Do I want to go angels or devils? I'm going to go devils. Sorry, angels. Is that, uh, honestly, this character is sick. It's really challenging. I like that. A lot of characters I find are like, they're a cool concept, but they're kind of balanced to just be easy. I like when a character isn't over, like overly hard, but it's definitely a challenge, you know? Me and my lost soul are kind of desynced, so I assumed he was going to die. Yeah, just because I'm slowed due to the ground, but uh, he is not. He has flight. I was expecting that to happen. Kind of tough. Nice deep pockets. A heavy investment for the future. I can't believe I fell for that. I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> Grant's Curse of Darkness and six broken hearts on pickup. Okay, well, I don't really care about those. Those are fine. So we take both of these. This is basically like I just found like 10 coins. I just found a dime, really. Nice, a soul heart. And I'm so confident in this run so far, even if we don't have found soul. I'll go clear out what else we have. Try and find more trinkets before I sell. This has, what is that? It's quality four and I'm dancing. A golden heart. Shop prices are reduced by one for the current floor for each item purchased on the floor. Also, there's a humbling bundle. Okay, wait, what? So we can, I suppose, buy this. Repeat customer discount. Then I buy this and then, oh, I see. I get it. I get it. That... All right, that's cool. I like that. I don't know if I have the ability to really clear out the mirror dimension. So I think I'm just going to go here and fight Turtle. Usually I'm super down to just do whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll fight it. It's okay. But this character is not something you can mess around with, I don't think. Bro is schmoving. Blow up real quick. Later. Nice. Oh, damage up. Love letter. Range down. That's super worth. That's not even bad. And Glyph of Balance. This gives me two soul hearts too. Sure. It's definitely the tough angel, but it should be okay. Don't do this often, but I'm gonna use a bomb for this fight because it seems a little scary. And I have a lot of bombs because of Mr. Boom. Perfect. Key piece of taint. Um, let's just go down. I'm not going to all floors, man. This character is scary. We're gonna hope for a ton of money because I want to see how this rewards card uh, works out for me. Oh, wow. Well, speak of the devil. Go ahead and explode real quick. Nice. Do I get a golden penny, maybe? No, that's fine. What does that do? I haven't seen that before. Constant small drift is applied when until sold. Wait, what? Drift? Movement drift. Wait, what? Oh, no. Nah. That's... That's really not that bad. <laughs> well, you know what? It is bad for this specific build. This is another, like, rune tinted rock, right? Because I have lost soul. That's actually kind of terrible. I'm gonna desync through Lost Soul really fast. I think I gotta sell this immediately. I wanted to take it just because I wanted to see what it is. What the hell are you? You know what? Lost Soul, go get him. You have Spectral. <laughs> this is all, it's up to you. No! Okay, well, to be honest with you, it's kind of hard to manage him. Well, I think needless to say, at least when I find a shop, I will clear it out. I got money plus reward card. It re the reward card- this is gonna be an obscure reference, but the reward card re looks like, um, the- the game card from Super Paper Mario, the- the orange one, or the gold one, that lets you play more arcade games. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll put it on screen. Mr. Boom has never been more clutch than today. He's getting so much value. I'm gonna place a bomb here, assuming it's gonna jump and then explode. Perfect timing. Kind of a gamble by me, but it worked out. That fight could've been bad if Mr. Boom didn't do what it needed to do. I will take an HP up 100%. Increases the drop rate of trinkets. That would have been cool to find, but that's fine. I need to take Found Soul with me because I need damage. Take it away, please. Oh boy, a range up. We are not taking Dunce Cap easily. I'll take you. I'll take you. What? This is supposed to just give trinkets, right? What is that? That, uh, what? Oh, it's just a luck up. Wait, what? Oh, it is. It is a trinket dispenser. It's just sometimes it can give little things like a clover capsule. Cool. Wait, this is worth. What did I just pick up? What was that? Pill? I sure I'll do the pill. Speed up. Wow, this thing is paying out like crazy for me. Another luck up. All right, I'll do one more. Wait, this thing seems crazy good. See, what is this? I don't know. I picked it up. It didn't. Oh, it's the speed up. Epic. Is this where you get most of your stats? Cause this thing's nasty, dude. That's a- that really- that- I was just talking about Super Paper Mario. Or uh, Paper Mario in general. It did the Paper Mario sound, that was crazy. That was so based, I love- wait, wait, it's a trinket. Oh, it's a trinket, it's not a- Man, I kinda want it though. I think Found Soul would have me- it would be- it'd be more value, let's be real. Let's stack up on money again. Parisitoid was easily the star winner. 
Should I even go on this one? I I could get a 40% planetarium chance on deaths too. Let's go for that, I think. This might be the way to play the character. Since you're gonna get- What is going on? Since you're gonna get trinkets anyway just by beating the- um, Nice, I got answers. The room. Just by beating enemies, you get trinkets. Uh, I might as well go for a planetarium. Got a cracked key, and somehow answers revealed the ultra secret room to me, so this is working out perfectly. Deals one full heart of damage, non-fatal damage on pickup. Oh, wait, I, I got spawned two of them. I'm about to take two hearts of damage. Sure, why not? Oh! Thank you. That's good. Thank you, Ultra Secret. That was very worth it. I can blow this up. As time has gone on, I get how to play the character a bit more. There's definitely a lot of strategies, and you want to open rooms in certain orders. You don't want to do anything too nasty. I, I truly appreciate this character. It's actually really fun. So if the Ultra Secret Room has a free item without having to pay for it, I'm assuming a Planetarium will also have the same thing. You don't really have to worry. I'm sure you can just take the item that it's going to give you. And it will be Uranus or Terra. It's actually Saturnus, which is funny because I just picked up Immaculate Heart. Now we're gaming. Okay. Now we got stuff that's going to go... We, oh, we're gaming. Do I have a double Saturnus because of Found Soul? That That is actually... That's insane. I have two Saturnuses. What the heck? Uh, and maybe if I find a blood bank, I can do something one day. I don't know why I turned southern, but I don't know why this is the most stereotypical southern thing, but whatever. Okay, hello. <laughs> That's nasty. Hold on. Wait a second. Things are ramping up. I shouldn't have come in here, should I? I, I turned off my brain. I was supposed to check out the every- uh, who cares? I don't- It's on sale. Two of diamonds? <laughs> sure, I'll take the tarot cloth. This is literally free. I, huh, okay. Well, yeah, I did kind of mess up. I was supposed to go and do the treasure room, then the shop. I don't think it matters too much. At this point, we have 11 base damage. We are chilling. What has just spawned in front of me? Give me a second. Well, let me open this one as well. Okay, that's not an item. No! Grants a black heart on use. Oh, it's a use item. Passively. Damage taken is doubled. But it's a three room charge. Wait, that's just so broken? What? And God saw that it was good. That's so broken, dude. Has special positive synergies with other apple items? The only apple item I can think of is actual apple. I hope I find it. Sure, it's new. I might as well take it. That's kind of cool. I like that. Unique looking item. Well, we'll take whatever this bad trinket is if it doesn't seem too bad. It's damaged down by a bit for seven cents. Honestly, that's not even worth it. I got a two of diamonds and only one shop left. Let's just go. Open you. That's nothing. I think we're good to go. I have the curse room there. Yikes. Uh, but uh, I'm a little scared of the curse room. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying my best not to take as much damage because this character, I'm sure you could just die easy if you're not careful enough. We got an angel. What is this? Curse of the Unknown. Sure. Normal damage up. This angel room is free. I don't have to pay for it. It's Spirit Sword? I'm not going to take it. I love the sword, but we're trying a new character who could potentially have unique synergies, unique items, and taking Spirit Sword could ruin things. So let's not do that. We can, however, uh, fight Mega Satan. Let's go down. This hurts me if I leave behind a trinket. I, I'll just take everything. It's okay. Do I just get books? I do just get books. It's okay. The Odyssey. Spawns a large pile of blue creep, spawns rocks within a short radius, and attaches anchors to enemies within a short radius. Uh, those all seem like whatever. What I will do is this, and then touch this how to jump and pick up everything. Now where's my shop? Perfect! Now we'll do things in the correct order this time, not a bozo. Use the Genesis, and just take whatever this is. What is that? Pearls of Swine. Worth less each time you take damage. Interesting. Kind of cool. And then just take all my money. I don't need it. Very epic. So is the correct play here to buy this and then that will get cheaper? Yeah. <laughs> then I can buy this. That'll get cheaper. That, that gets even cheaper. Dude, rewards card is nasty. This is literally free. And this is a tears up. I know the rest is okay. We'll use the tears up capsule or pill. Sorry, I'm getting confused now. There's another one and just spend all my money right here. Okay, you've just given me maximum tier rate uh, from nothing. Very cool. Oh, I should have maybe used two of diamonds, huh? That's okay. I think those little capsules that I'm finding are just giving me uh, random tiny stats up. That's what it is. 
I think we can just go. I think we are powerful enough to potentially beat a lot of things here. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the, um, wow, my build is strong. Let's go down. I'm looking at this and I think I can tell what the rune is supposed to be. Yeah, okay, interesting. So the, the rune rocks, I actually tell you what it's supposed to be. There's so many cool things in this mod, dude. Okay, high angel chance because we didn't get one on the last floor. A little unlucky, not a big deal. Mama Gerd, goodbye. Tammy's head? Actually, that's Moxie's head. It's a damage multiplier? Hell yeah, man. And in here, we just get a damage up and kind of a useless missing page too. We'll take this one. Our damage has shot up like crazy. I still have this two of diamonds I haven't used yet. I thought that I might have messed up. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought I might have messed up by not using two of diamonds in time, but it looks like I still have an opportunity. I kind of hit the god build for uh, Mammon, I think, you know? We started with deep pockets and rewards and humbling bundle. And this character is uh, like a weird uh, twist on Tainted Keeper, so you know, things kind of worked out for me a little bit. So much that I'm kind of worth to go in here. Just kidding, it's not. I take four hearts of damage to go in the curse room. Damn, Book of Genesis. What the hell, man? All tier effects are removed. We're about to touch the shop, it's okay. 20 base damage, that's nuts. So let's go here, give away our stuff, meet Grinder. Interesting. I'll just two of diamonds right now, it's okay. Damages the player, it spawns a swine beggar. What does a swine beggar do? Boom. Oh, well. Oh, I spawned two of them because I have found so. So what do you give me? Five cents for? Oh, it's like the other, the like capsule thing. Heart? You just get an HP up just by existing? Oh my god, this guy's crazy. I only paid out with an item? Lagrifigy? Swine beggar's crazy. Okay, arcade. No crane game. I'll do it once just because Book of Genesis is destroying my health bar. Yeah, we get a bit of money. I'm assuming there's gonna be a shop here as well. We have two of diamonds, so we can basically afford anything, I think. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I don't even care about finding trinkets anymore. I think we're good on health. So let me just go in here. I think these later shops, either I'm unlucky or these later shops just have only one item. What happens if I blow you up? I'm terrified. What is that? What? Are you okay? You little, are you mad at me? I'm That's I've never seen a scarier sprite in my life. I'm leaving. I'm so sorry. I've just, I just got like the bad ending. Well, looks like we finally found our boss. Ah, I can't get over how cute that sprite is. I don't know what these like apple synergies are. I haven't found any other apple items. Hopefully we do. Antidepressants don't need that. Devil? I don't think I need that either, but I'll take this because it's conjoined. And then we'll go down because I took the negative. Soul moments. Laser eye? No thanks, dude. Absolutely not. That's new, right? Uh, tears fire? It's like... Oh, no. We've seen that. We've seen that. I accidentally took it. <laughs> it's not a big deal. We have such like crazy tears that it doesn't really matter if I take the item that makes it shoot like one degree off. It's okay. So I'm going to try and clear out Shoal as much as possible. Never mind. Just because I wanted to see if there is a shop here and it looks like there is. That is a weird looking uh, thing to get used to. Alabaster. There is absolutely no way that I managed to pull this off, but I might as well take it because I'm not really using this uh, Genesis book anymore. Oh, hey, damage up. Epic. Uh, I'm gonna explore a bit mm, for no other reason than maybe I can find soul hearts for Alabaster to pop off a little bit. Okay, epic. Dude, I, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been about five seconds and I can't remember. Oh my God, that's a soul of Lilith straight up. Okay, you know what? I got conjoined. I don't even care about Alabaster Box anymore. I'm going back to the Book of Genesis. That thing was OP. Come here. Get rid of this bad trinket. It's destroying me. Thank you. We're running with this. Never mind. Alabaster, you're gonna have to be saved for another day. Fallen's done for. Parisitoid, I think, is definitely the MVP. That and Rubber Cement. I mean, look at what's happening on the screen, really. Ay, 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 uh, Satan does not live. Delirium? No, I don't know how I feel about that, but thank you. Okay, boom. No, boom. No, boom. Ooh, yes. And then boom, no. I gotta remember we can fight Mega Satan. I tend to forget that. You know, I, I sometimes I fight the lamb and I'm like, okay, GG, and I leave. I gotta remember I can come back and fight him. We don't have insane luck, nor do we have any real way to get more chests, so we just kind of have to mosey on and see if we get anything. That's okay, this run is kind of broken. It was definitely tough in the beginning. You have to focus up. You can't just turn off your brain as this character. But I really appreciate that. 
I think I picked up the trinket that spawns the exploding coins for some reason. I didn't notice that I did that. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but we should be okay. Is that new? What is this? Shot speed down. Huh. You know what? Just because I have never taken it before and I want to say that I've taken it, we'll do it. Ow. I'll fight the lamb real quick just to do it. That coin's exploded, now I can go in finally. Done for. Let's move on, use the Book of Genesis, clear out these uh, extra what I'm assuming are two, three more rooms, and then we'll fight Mega Satan. Mm -hmm. Ow! Excuse you? I walked into a room and I insta exploded! Okay, dude. Well, uh, looks like the spinning coins kind of destroyed my health towards the end. Will I be able to beat Mega Satan? Probably not, but I'll try. Here we go. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I don't have a found soul for extra damage anymore, but our damage in general is just so nuts. And we don't have any more of those annoying spinning coins that explode. So, as long as I play halfway decent, it should be kind of free, I think. Just because the build itself is a little too strong. Not to mention conjoined, right? Look at that. I mean, he literally exploded within a frame. Oh, that's a Mega Blast. Excuse you. Alright, one last thing to do. Uh-oh. Careful. And done! With only like, we didn't get any crazy items, we just got like pure damage, that was sick. We actually got Delirium, how the hell am I supposed to get that trinket? Alright, I'll try fighting Delirium. This could be Delirium for all I know actually, like this uh, could very well be him. Oh my god it is, hello buddy. Uh, I don't know if I have the health for this, but we'll try. Oh what just happened to me, I TP'd like everywhere. I'm gonna use a bit of skill to dodge here. Maybe you can't tell what's going on, but uh, I sure as hell cannot either. <laughs> Turning into lamb, I see. No, oh, thank you. Every bit of damage I take is doubled, so it's really bad, and I might die. Uh oh. Could you turn into the face that takes like 7 billion damage, please? No? That's fine. Alright, that's fair. Well, I'm gonna die in the next hit, so we're about to find out! Please just die normally for no reason. Just like randomly, just take that random hit. Let's go! Well, very nice. Dude, this character was so awesome.